Hi there, in this video we're going to take a look at using scientific notation to write very small numbers in ways that are easier to write and also easier to understand. But to get there, let's just quickly recap what we know about scientific notation so far uh, in terms of what we've used it to write big numbers as. So let's take a, a pretty simple example here, 78,000. Okay, we know that 78,000 can be rewritten as 78 times 1,000. That's what 78,000 really means. It's 78 thousands. Um, and we know that 1,000 we can write as 10 times 10 times 10. In other words, 10 to the power 3. We've multiplied 10 by itself three times. And uh, we can also rewrite this as 7.8 times 10 to the power 4. Um, we now not... We don't have 78 times 1,000, we've got 7.8 times 10,000. And we've got some tricks that we can use in terms of moving the decimal point around. So let's just remind ourselves what those tricks are. All right, so remember, if we move the decimal point one place to the left, well, that is the same as dividing the number by 10. So we need to compensate by multiplying the number by 10 so that we get back to the original number. We can't just change the numbers. So if we move the decimal point one place to the left, that's kind of the same as dividing it by 10. So we need to kind of undo that division by multiplying by one factor of 10. If we move the decimal point two places, well, that's kind of the same thing as dividing by 100. So we need to undo that. In other words, we need to multiply by 10 times 10 two factors of 10, we need to multiply by 10 to the power 2. And so you get the picture. If we move the decimal point three places, well, that's the same thing as dividing by 1,000. So we need to compensate for that. We need to undo that by multiplying by 1,000, which is 10 times 10 times 10, or 10 to the power 3. And we can see the pattern that it's the number of decimal place moves that we do. One corresponds to one two places moves corresponds to two on the exponent, three places move corresponds to three in the exponent. So what happens if we now have a smaller number? So this number is less than one. Um, it's a fairly small number. Can we do the same thing to make it a little bit easier to read and work with? Well, if we move the decimal point one place to the right, well, that's the same as multiplying this number by 10. Remember, when we moved the decimal point one place to the left, that was the same as dividing by 10. So if we move it one place to the right, well, that will be the same as multiplying by 10. So once again, we need to keep the value of the number with the same. If we're moving the decimal point, we need to compensate by dividing the number by 10 to the power one. If we move the decimal point, two places. Well, you can see where this is going. We need to divide by 10 times 10, which is another way of saying 10 squared. If we move the decimal point three places, well, we need to, we need to compensate for that by dividing by 10 times 10 times 10. In other words, 10 to the power three. So if we move it another decimal place, so we've now moved it a total of four decimal places, we'd need to multiply so we've, we've, in a sense, multiplied the original number by 10,000. So we need to compensate for that by dividing the number by 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which is 10 to the power 4. All of this compensation, remember, is to keep the value of the original number the same. So what, that, what does that mean? Well, it means that 0 0.00078, <coughs> we can rewrite that as 7.8 divided by 10,000. Remember, that was 10 to the power 4. 10,000 is equal to 10 times 10 times 10. Oops, I've left the 10 off there. Let's quickly write that in. 10, which is 10 to the power 4. So this number, 0 0.00078, we can write as 7.8 divided by 10 to the power 4. And this is almost in exponential, note, in, in scientific notation. The only thing with scientific notation, though, is that we always like to write a number times by 10 to some power. We don't like to write it as divided by 10 to some power. 
very simple rule that we can use to get this version of the number into this version of the number. And if we bring the 10 with its exponent from the denominator into the numerator so that we are, instead, instead of dividing by the number, we can multiply by the number, we have to change the sign on the exponent. And this is just a rule of exponents. Um, I don't have the time in this video to go through why that is the rule. So if you don't know why that is the rule, you can simply accept that if we move an exponent from the denominator into the numerator, we have to change its sign. It was positive, so it becomes negative. So this number 7.8 divided by 10 to the power 4 is the same thing as saying 7.8 times times 10 to the power negative 4, because 10 to the power negative 4 is really the same thing as 1 divided by 10 to the power positive 4. So, these two numbers mean exactly the same thing, but this is the way that we like to write it out in scientific notation. So let's have a look at another example. 0 0.00562. All right. So if we move the decimal point one place, to the right, in other words, we multiplied this number by a factor of 10. Well, we'd have to divide the new number we got after moving the decimal point. We need to divide that by a factor of 10. So this 0 0.00562 would become 0 0.0562 divided by 10 to the power 1. And using our new exponent trick, we know that this is 0 0.0562 times 10 to the negative 1. We can rewrite the same number moving the decimal point two places. So now we've got just a 0 0.562, but now because we've multiplied the original number by a factor of 100, we need to divide it by a factor of 100 to keep the original value the same. And using our exponent trick, 10 to the 2 in the denominator becomes 10 to the negative 2 in the numerator. Or we could write it by moving the decimal point three places to the right. This is the same as multiplying the original number by a thousand. So we need to divide our new number, five point, remember the decimal point is now over there, 5.62 by 1,000. 10 times 10 times 10, or 10 to the power three. And when we move 10 to the power three from the denominator into the numerator, we change its sign so it becomes negative 3, from positive 3 into negative 3. So here's a nice example just to practice with. Let's write this number, 0 0.00007623, in scientific notation. Okay, well, we move the decimal one place, two places, three places, four places, five places. If we moved it five places, then this would be our new number, 7.623. But because we have multiplied by 100,000, we need to divide by 100,000. We move the decimal point one, two, three, four, five places. So the exponent on the 10 is 5. And we can write this nicely in exponential, in, in scientific notation as 7.623 times 10 to the negative 5. One last example here. They ask us to write 3.8761 times 10 to the negative 10 out in full. So this is in scientific notation. What is this number actually? Well, this is the number we've been given, 3.8761. Let's go ahead and now undo our scientific notation. Now, in getting from the original number to the scientific notation number, we move the decimal point to the right. So to undo that action, we need to move the decimal point to the left. And how many places do we need to move it to the left? That's right, we need to move it 10 places to the left. So let's go ahead and do that. So, move the decimal point one place to the left. Well, now this is a zero point. 38761. So we need to put the zero in there because if we put the decimal point there, this unit can't be empty. 
but that's only moving it, moving it one place. We need to move it ten places. So let's keep moving it. Second place, another place, another zero. Third, another zero. Four, another zero. Five, you get the picture. Eight, nine, ten. The decimal point is now over here. We've moved the decimal point one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten places. The decimal point now lands up over there. So this number, written in scientific notation, 3.8761 times 10 to the negative 10, is actually this a very, very small but very, very long number. And that, in a nutshell, is how to use scientific notation to write or rewrite very small but very long numbers in ways that are slightly easier to read and write.